Yo, Tony B, live from Africa, blog. I am here, this is Saturday, so it's been like the fourth day for me, third day. Actually, I got here on the 16th, today's the 18th, dang, time, I I don't lost complete track of time. The days are so long and I end up doing so much in a day in Africa. Um, the status is thus far, African peoples over here, the people who live here, don't have a lot of money. The Senegalese, they hustle their butt off. I seen like a, I would have to say three mile long marketplace where everybody is selling everything. It looks like 145th in New York. Looks like Crenshaw, where they've just got tables lined up next to each other for three miles. So now I understand when I see the Senegalese in America and they be at Venice and they be at festivals and they be getting their money. I understand where they get it from right here. But, um, yeah, the um, locals really ain't got no money. And the um, people who are here as artists, they came in with no money because most of them got free tickets, free everything. You know, they didn't come in with that much money. And if they're buying something, they're buying like a Senegal T-shirt. So I got three bags full of stuff that I brought. Haven't been able to sell one book, one piece of art, one anything. The um, American delegates that were here that just left, you know, Ranoko Rashidi and his trifling butt, um, and, um, you know, Babu from the Pan-African Film Festival, all of the, all of the bourgeoisie, as I will say, quote-unquote Afrocentric black folks. You know, they were very cheap. The Senegalese people love us as a people, as Americans coming home, but they hate our spending habits and the way we treat each other. I think it's that Willie Lynch thing. Black people just ain't used to giving their money to anybody black, and so they come over here cheap, don't want to really pay for cabs that much, don't want to tip, don't want to do nothing. I think that's just something that's been ingrained in most of us. So... Anyway, there's a little bit of residue left from that. Um, for the most part, the people I've been meeting that are dope are like the hip hoppers. The hip hop community is off the hook. Oh my God, they loving me. I'm loving them. Um, yeah, supposed to do a couple shows. Rozelle's gonna be here. Buster Rhymes is gonna be here. A bunch of people gonna be here doing their thing. Um, I'm supposed to connect with these brothers and sisters. Lungs feeling a lot better, but still messed up man the weather I'm telling you the, I don't know what they're intaking in the air but I know these my brothers and sisters here are catching lung cancer day and night still haven't went to Gory Island we're supposed to go tomorrow the minister of culture he wants to take a film crew with us because we're coming from America the hip hop generation they want to film us and put us on TV when we go to Gory Island this is going to be an experience for me I think this is going to be the pinnacle of the trip, the most emotional part. Um, just being in Africa and being around all of these other cultures of African people from Brazil, Cuba, um, all over the place throughout the diaspora has really made me want to change my music, change my art. When I get home, I'm going to learn French, um, really, really, really learn Spanish and really get to traveling and performing internationally. I don't care too much about being a, a national star in America anymore. Now I'm. It's more about being a global, a global force, a person who can travel to other countries, get put up in hotels and perform and everything for crowds who really enjoy me. So that's my new goal. My whole my whole paradigm has shifted as far as what I want to do and what I want to be while in America. I'm only in America now to get out of America. So, um, anyway, yeah, I don't want to just talk your ear off. Tony B., um, I'll get back to you later. Got to go start the day. Live from Africa, Senegal. Loving it. Wow, wow. Peace.